Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This, I think it is an antenna tuner, signal corpse wireless sets, number 19 mark 2, aerial variometer. So I think it is an antenna tuner, right? And, and this signal corps, I think this reveals some military application, right? Even the color looks very military. So I guess this is kilo cycles, right? 134 kilohertz. I can't change the dial here, so it's stuck somehow. So I need to open it anyway. Maybe there is a locking mechanism, so you just tune it once and then it's locked somehow. Because I guess, of course, you're not going to change the frequencies, right? So this connector, I think this is a coaxial connection for the radio. Right. So this one turns... I don't, I don't really know this con kind of connector, but it looks like a coaxial kind of connection, right? And then here is a high voltage connection where you just hand screw your wire. So this is most likely the, the antenna wire. And I don't know what that is. So the paint is scraped off a little bit here, and this looks like copper. Somebody put in some capacitors here just to perform some measurements, I guess. I think I need to remove this, and then I will try and see if I can measure anything at all. Also, if I look here, I see some copper nuts that have been uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like we got some marks that reveals some weldings uh, or some... Yeah, look at that. Can you see this? It's probably welded into this. So this will be the ground connections, or maybe this is mounted on some sort of a vehicle or, a, I don't know, car, boat, I don't know what. And then a long wire antenna and some... I really got no idea. I just DC ohm checked. There's no connections from the aerial part to chassis or from chassis to this feed point. No DC at all. Note, there's a tiny little number close to each screw so this is eight seven and so forth why is that important really so this is number one so I think I will create a little mark here just a tiny little mark so I can put it back together now I unscrewed everything here a little bit so I think I should be able to pull this up maybe yeah, that was something. <laughs> what is going on here? So this is the indication. I'm still not able to turn this. No matter what I do, it's just stuck. So why is it so stuck? But anyway, here we also got some numbers and they don't align. So the number one here is in the middle. Really? Okay, this one turns. Ah. So this is the scale that turns, but it's not the knob. Uh -huh, so this is maybe the calibration. What happens? Ooh. This one? Something. What is in this thing? And there's a trimmer here. Now I'm getting even more curious. So I think we should unscrew. Yeah, 
I want to see. I want to see more. And it was really difficult to disassemble. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's because there was this connection in here to the antenna connect connection, right? And it was down here, and this is rotating. See, there's a rubber gasket here. But this part is not rotating because this is the everything here. This this is what's rotating. So we got two inductors here inside each other. And this is so you can create a variable coupling. Pretty nice. I've seen those kind of antenna tuners before. See, there's a like a disconnect. So when it's here, it's not connected. And see, now it's connected. So this is the correct way to operate it. And then it goes off. Really funny. So, so I expect there will be something explained on this. It's on or off or something. Well, so this part is fixed. And we've got another little coupler around here. This looks like a lot like an SVR bridge with the feeder going through here. But how is this used? So that will be, yeah, yeah, see? There'll be two diodes that delivers this signal. But where is this going? Because I don't understand what is that good for. Hmm. And then, yeah, see? This one was the quarks connector that I talked about that goes in here and this one was connected to that wire and it goes to that inductor and a capacitor so that capacitor okay is connected to this one so there's another switch in that end I'm not sure I understand this. It seems like there's like some signals missing here, right? I don't know. Mystery, mystery. But some really nice high voltage, 5,000 volts. Hmm. Why are we using this kind of high voltage capacitors here? That is a little bit weird. It's getting more and more mysterious in here. Look at that screw. It's full of something odd, right? And here again, that screw. Really? And if I touch the screw, I guess. See? It looks like metal powder. Yes, it is. Ah, so it's the nickel plating on top of those screws that kind of just, yeah, see, it just goes to dust. <laughs> this is old, old stuff. Wow, wow, wow. And then this is ooh, nasty corrosion. But anyway, a funny variable antenna coupler with some super nice inductors in here and some stuff and everything is made of copper for best shielding. So that is quite good. This explains also why it was a little bit, ex you know, a little bit heavy. That's the same as expensive. Copper is good and expensive. I still haven't figured out why this one can rotate and there seems to be a like, AC. The contact here is like a rotation contact something. That is a little bit weird. And this I didn't figure out yet. 
why is this locked so I can't move it maybe I should, I should just unscrew everything here and maybe get an explanation all right so this is how it was this one is just screw down here and it presses gently on the scale so the scale can be rotated a little bit so you can calibrate the scale so the scale just goes like this we got some red and we got some red that is really really funny right from 10 to 190 bananas and the reason why this one is not turning around is because of this black gooby de goop here this is like tar and it turned into solid asphalt <laughs> and look at that a watertight scale plastic thingy here yeah I think this was quite expensive because every little detail is really nicely manufactured I wonder how you unscrew the knob here normally you will see a little set screw or something but this kind of knob there is no no way to take this apart so how is that done <laughs> see how this is milled and then they went back with the milling machine oh this is for better bending uh -huh. <laughs> I was able to take this apart, but yikes! Oh, this is black tar kind of uh, grease, or what is it? Oh, this smells bad. <laughs> so they really tried to get a nice, smooth feel and then make it watertight or something like that, right? Wow. Yikes. 